Good morning. <clears throat> um, before I get started, um, I'd like to say that some videos are a lot harder for me to to do than other videos on certain topics. Um, oh, I really got to get rid of um. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah giggle I <clears throat> quite often and this is truth more often than not I lose sleep at night uh, ever since I became born again and have become aware of the times that we're living in and come into the truth I I don't have very many um, nights where I just I'm able to fall asleep and um, and rest well because even though <clears throat> I give um, I asked Lord Jesus Christ to please take um, certain burdens from me I still have them, um, some of them in my heart, uh, because I care very much about other people, and I don't want to see anyone suffer, um, or anything bad to happen to anyone. Um, <clears throat> and it's hard because um, a part of me knows that you know I have a hundred percent faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ that he knows what he's doing and then part of me wants to um, continue to do my part even though things are going to play out the way they're going to and that's disheartening sometimes to know that <clears throat> you know all of this is predestined and it's going to happen accordingly, no matter what my efforts may be. Um, although I believe in miracles, and I believe that if we keep praying for mercy for others, that, you know, there's a possibility that, um, there are some things that can change. Otherwise, I don't know what's the point. <clears throat> so, the scriptures I'm going to read this morning, I've read at least five or six times, or I've referred to uh, the parable of the ten virgins five or six times. And the awesome thing about you know, when you get into his word and when you grow with your walk with Jesus Christ, um, certain scriptures, uh, I notice have a new meaning. Like when you, when you gain more wisdom and you gain more knowledge and you read a scripture that you believe that you know the meaning, you realize that it has many different meanings. Um, it's not just, doesn't have just one side or tells just one story. It has many different <clears throat> sides to it, which is fascinating because I've heard some people say that the Bible was made simply and you should just take it literal. And yes, it, it, it is um, written where... Um, you can have a fifth grade education level and, and understand um, the basics of it. But as you grow, when you have his Holy Spirit and you're guided by his Holy Spirit, as you grow in your walk, the words, it's as if the words grow with you, if that makes sense. <laughs> So I'm going to read um, the parable of the ten virgins and then, um, sp you know, speak on it. 
<laughs> sorry, I'm just tired still. <laughs> Not much sleep. Uh, so Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 through 12. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps, and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamp. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. But ye, I'm sorry, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose, trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye, ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy the buy, the bridegroom came. They that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterwards came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Um, I've seen several people state that they believe that the five foolish virgins were those who didn't believe in Jesus Christ. Well, that's not uh, truth because it clearly says here that um, the ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom it says all ten virgins were waiting for him. So there, the five foolish knew of Jesus Christ and was waiting for him as well. So it's not, this parable is not about um, unbelievers. It's not about those who were not waiting for the bridegroom. It, it, they were ones who believed in Jesus Christ, but didn't have enough oil in their lamps. Now, what is enough oil? Well, the oil in your lamp is Jesus Christ. Your lamp is, is you. You're the vessel. You're the lamp. And you didn't fill your lamp and, and put Jesus Christ first in your life. Um, the reason why I didn't want to do this video is because I wanted to speak on those who are obsessed clearly obsessed with and putting all their focus on the rapture. Um, so last night I thought of a, a movie I watched a long time ago. I don't watch movies now, but a long time ago I watched a movie. It was called um, Number 23. I believe that was the title of the movie. And it was about this character, this guy, who was obsessed with the number 23. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh, I am. I'm, all, I'm always stuffed up in the morning. Pardon me. Um, he was obsessed with the number 23. He saw 23 everywhere. Um... Uh, in people's birthdays, um, like street, I, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but he, I know that he saw 23 everywhere, um, in, in people's, you know, adding people's birthdays together, <clears throat> names, um, he just was obsessed that he saw 23 everywhere and it was driving him mad. I feel like those who are <clears throat> um, speaking about the rapture kind of runs along the same line as that movie that they are obsessed with watching videos about the rapture and listening to different people's opinions, listening to people's dreams, listening to people's visions. 
listening to people's theories that they're filling their lamp with rapture but they don't actually understand that that's taking their attention away from the Lord Jesus Christ I know that doesn't make sense that well how can that be because I'm waiting for the Lord Jesus Christ but if you're obsessed with his coming and 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 listening to other people and listening to their theories and their opinions and chasing after numbers you're not building your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ just think about it this way how many minutes or hours in a day are you thinking about the rapture the rapture itself how many hours have you put in watching other people's videos um, or even making videos of your own because I all I see is this madness this rapture madness of chasing after the when is Jesus going to be here versus how many hours have the these same people spent reading the Lord God's Word reading the Bible it's I don't I I don't believe that any of them are actually spending quality time reading the Bible they just want to know when he's gonna be here and the sad part is I, I see that they're not even ready they're so obsessed with the rapture and his coming but they're not even ready they don't even know that they're not even ready but I I see it by listening to them and watching them as a watchman and witnessing and seeing the their fruit the thing is is they they don't have any spiritual growth meaning they didn't fill up their lamps with oil there's no spiritual growth there's no knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ because they're not reading his word Hosea 4 6 says that my children perish because of the lack of knowledge they perish because they were spending all their time and effort on one thing I'm just focused on I want to know when he's going to be here what's the point of knowing when if you're not even ready to go I think that it's amazing that our father so loving and is willing to he's long-suffering and willing to hold off another day for one more of his lambs to be sealed and saved he's 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 very he's long suffering while he's suffering waiting for you to be actually ready you're still obsessed with when is he going to be here when is he going to be here when is he going to fulfill his promise he will fulfill his promise the thing is you're not ready you're the foolish virgin that's chasing after you know like in that movie chasing after the number 23 obsessed with the number 23 you're oh, you're just focused on the number 23 it's like rapture rapture all I want to I, I just want to fill up my day up with focused on videos all day long of watching videos about other people's opinions which Isaiah 222 you're not supposed to listen to man the Lord Jesus Christ wants to build a relationship with you and the only <clears throat> way you're gonna build a relationship with him is through his word through this so I'm not saying to <clears throat> not always look up and wait for the Lord Jesus Christ to be here I'm not saying don't do that I'm saying don't be a foolish virgin be wise and s spend your time wisely getting into his word and reading the Bible because it's not just about believing in the blood of Jesus it really isn't it's about coming out of the world it's about stop sinning and it's about putting Jesus Christ first in your life reading his word and getting to know him 
and, and, and making him your first love. It's not about you. And I think that's the crazy thing is when people are focused on this rapture, they're making it about them, about how they want to go and how they don't want to be here anymore. And it's like, you know what? I don't want to be here anymore either, but I'm not thinking about myself. I'm thinking about those who are not ready yet. That's why I lose sleep. I lose sleep because I'm thinking about those who are not ready and thinking about those who may not ever be ready. That's what I'm thinking about because I can't see myself being happy in heaven if I know that there are people here still suffering. I'm not thinking about myself. And I feel like those who are chasing after the rapture you're thinking about your wants and your desires and that's idolizing yourself and the Lord Jesus Christ is not like idols. He wants servants who are loving, who care about their brothers and sisters as much as they care about themselves. <clears throat> I've even heard a sister say to others, she said this very boldly, she said, you know, those that aren't looking for the rapture, those are the ones that they just don't love the, fa the, the father as much as I do. And that's that that hurt, that hurt. She made a statement that we don't love the Lord Jesus Christ as much as her because we're not looking for a rapture date. That's how maddening this has become. It's madness. They don't see it though, because they're under a delusion. And they can come out if they if they stop thinking of themselves and put all their focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. Because if you put all your love and and give yourself as a truly give yourself as a living sacrifice and do his will first, everything else falls into place. And you gain knowledge and wisdom and you're able to see things the way he sees things and you're not leaning on old understandings and indoctrination and old ways so I'm sorry 17 minutes I'm gonna stop it there but um, please think about what I said this rapture <clears throat> madness Satan loves it. He absolutely loves it because he's watching you or she or it or whatever Satan is, is watching you and enjoying the show. What he's, he's watching this rapture madness and enjoying it because he knows you're being a foolish virgin and you're not focused on Jesus Christ anymore. That's the agenda to distract you, to deceive you, to mislead you. So you, so your heart desires a date, a time. Your heart desires the rapture. Your heart doesn't desire the Lord Jesus Christ. So please think about it. I hope this is a seed that you keep and you really think about because Again, what I see is those that are so obsessed with the rapture, they're not even ready. You're not ready. You're not born again. You do not have his Holy Spirit. You're not a new creation. Being a new creation, you know, because your, your walk is different. You are different. You are changed. And there's so many who actually have his Holy Spirit that you can ask for their testimony, their whole life changed. If your life hasn't changed and you're still in the world, you don't have his Holy Spirit. If you don't feel guilt from sinning, you don't have his Holy Spirit. <clears throat> you, have this t you have this moment, you have this day to get yourself right. Our Father loves you so much that he's, he's given you now to seek him first and to actually be ready. That's how much he loves you. 
So be ready. Stop looking for the rapture and start seeking and following the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you and God bless.